Hey guys, this is Mainak and today we will design a mat pile foundation or ref pile foundation in the Tecla Structural Designer software. So this interface is in AC code and we'll design uh, that. Let's get started. So we'll st start with the very basics, we'll model a building and then we'll apply a mat and then we'll uh, you know just uh, apply the piles and then we'll design. And uh, with very basic tutorial, we'll make new project has been created. We'll go to model and create some construction levels. Let's create and insert a level below. And here, we'll just do minus two meter for the foundation level to begin with. And uh, here it will be SSL, that is the structural slab level. And uh, source will be unique and spacing three meters. And slab thickness 150 mm. And we'll insert a level above. And source will be one here and let's insert another floor above it so two floors okay and then uh, just click on okay here and then using the rectangular wizard we'll just create the default structure which is possible just read next 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 and click on finish the default structure here columns we uh, insert the basic columns here and this is the base level and you can check the levels here i'll uh, go to structure window and here you can see that this is the base of the plinth level so in the plane level, we'll just insert the beams, the basic beams which we'll insert. You can change the sizes from here for the beams here. And uh, in this level, we'll insert a uh, slab on decks here, steel decks. Let's insert the steel decks here. So steel decks are inserted in this particular level. And then we'll go to the next level that is the structure one and then provide the beams. We'll just select and provide the beams here. And then the slab of 150 mm thickness, provide the slabs and then uh, you can see the structure is ready here and after that uh, in will go to the base level and in the base level uh, we will provide some dead load so go select dead here go to dead and live load just to show how the load acts so okay like one kilonewton per meter square load here a dead load is taken you can see in the 3d view as well if you select the dead you see the load here Flow load which has been applied like that you can uh, select and apply all the possible loads which are suitable for the structure according to the relevant codes so after that what you do uh, once you've done that since you have uh, did it you go to load and you go to combination and you generate the default load combinations which are there so i'm not going to stress on that just click on next 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 finish and click on ok so after that you need to design the structure so design all static because when you're designing the pile after you apply the all the loads possible you need to make sure that the structure is uh, in fact safe so once this is made sure then you can proceed further so as you can see the structure is in fact safe here you can see the design and check the design if possible check the member a design of the you know uh, your columns and beams if you uh, can check it and whatnot so after that uh, what you need to do you need to go to the front view just uh, optimize to the front view just click on escape here then the supports will appear just uh, here using a right mouse and then zoom in and then you select your supports in this way so make sure all the supports are selected and then click on delete button in your keyboard and then click on ok supports are deleted because we need to delete all the support before applying mat since you're applying mat there will no be uh, the fixed support consideration is not required so next uh, thing which we'll do uh, we will simply go to the bottom most level go to structure window and here you can select b1 okay double click on b1 then the b1 the bottom most level will be selected and here first of all you can just go to the foundations here and you can select the area that's the most easiest option to apply offset means after the column so i will select this this area so for example after the column how much offset or how much space will be there so we'll select a 2000 or 2 meters here and then as per a soil test report you need to select all the default things and the depth will go 800 mm depth for this and select this select this select this and double click on the last point so your mat has been created you can see it easily in the structure 3d how beautiful this mat looks so the mat footing has been created and since you have added a new structural object you need to go to your load and add the load combination once again okay since uh, just to avoid any kind of error you need to do this step okay so once you have done that and then uh, you have added new structure member you can just analyze all static just to check uh, make a balance that the, all the new members are added properly because mat is the foundation and the structure and mat are balancing and properly if you do this and analyze, analyze all static is not compulsory but it is uh, you know preferred okay so you perform uh, this uh, particular step and after that 
you go to foundation and click on design mat so it will see show you that whether uh, the mat foundation depth that you provided are suitable or not so now it is suitable it doesn't mean that after providing pile also it will be suitable it may you may need to change or increase the depth here but now it is designed and all you can just uh, check the report uh, check panel or design panel you can just check and you can see the reinforcements and all whatnot of the uh, this panel here so you can see this is design so just click on escape here and now we'll go for the piles so go to the foundation and go to the catalog so as per your soil test report we add the pile capacity you can see you know i have added in several video the in the uh, pile capacity are given in the soil test report i'll go for a 20 meter pile here and uh, material you can select pile capacity you can change as per the soil test report and then click on ok so i'm just going to click this by default and then click on ok so once you click on ok and then you go to foundation and then just click on pile to see let's see that whether the pile which you've created is showing here or not which means that you have done uh you know okay and the pile has been created pile uh, type has been created you can add multiple pile types too okay as you know so we'll go to the foundation level and you can add the pile now just select the mat and then you can add the pile or even add the coordinates here to uh, to add the pile select like this uh, and then you can so the pile is selected and select like this and you can select the coordinates where you want to apply the pile but i don't want to apply this way i'm going to go with pile array and uh, simply i'll just uh, add five meter here and uh, five meter here and uh, then i'll just select this and after i select this i'll select the mat once again to just rearrange the piles wherever you know i want i can do this okay just select this and you can see that the piles have been uh, done once again you have added a new structural uh, you know group member to this particular design so it's wise to go to load and define the load combination once again just click on generate and click on the next next and finish and then click on ok if you want to add any type of new loads you can also add do that but the motto is uh, this after you uh, do the pile it's better you design all of the structure statically this is uh, done to ensure that whatever the new foundation members which are considering are embedded into the system so that's why we are doing this to avoid any kind of errors so as you can see that uh, you know this has been designed and after this has been designed you can go to the foundation and you can click on uh, design mat once again because once you add the pile the you know the pile design might change in fact sometimes it might fail also in that case you have to increase the depth but in our case it is it has passed so then you go to design design pile caps so the pile caps will be designed but you'll not be able to see it just you click on pile column and then you can see the pile has been designed screen is passing so pile uh, caps have been designed here so these are these are your piles this is your mat and this is your building so we have successfully uh, described the procedure for designing a pile wrapped in tech construction designer uh, do leave a like if you like this type of content for supporting us and if you have any kind of queries or if you have, just have any questions feel free the comment section is for you Thanks for watching the video, keep learning and keep spreading love, bye bye.